What's up, everybody? I'm in Genesis chapter 16 today. I'm not going to read you the whole thing. I'm going to try to make this quick and easy. We read of Abram and Sarai, who we now know as Abraham and Sarah. And they're not able to have children that they know of yet. Spoiler alert, but they're not able to have children. And Sarah, Sarai says, Abram, I'm going to give you my servant Hagar. We're going to conceive a child through her, which was very common in those days. They're successful in this. Hagar has a child. When she gets pregnant, <clears throat> she gets very cocky. Uh, Sarai sends her off. She deals harshly with her. Hagar's in the desert, and God comes to her and says, you're going to have a child. You're going to name him Ishmael, and there's going to be a lot against him, and he's going to be a lot against a lot of others. Basically, there's going to be a lot of adversity that comes from Ishmael. But God heard her affliction, which is just a beautiful story of no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, no matter where you are, that God hears you when you cry out to him. But Abram and Sarai, they tried to fix things on their own. They tried to, to deal with this situation on their own. They tried to get what they wanted in their own time. And this is what happens when we try to fix things on our own. It never goes the way that God had planned. It, it goes our way, which is never the best way. So later in Genesis chapter 17, uh, God gives them a son, Isaac, through Abraham and Sarah, who we now know as Abraham and Sarah. But God gives them a son and and fulfills his promise to them and he says I'm going to establish a covenant with him which points to later the ultimate covenant the greatest covenant which was through Jesus and the new covenant that we have access to so what does that say to us today stop trying to fix things on your own stop striving and trying to work things out in your own timing put your faith and put your trust in Jesus it may not happen as quick as you want it it may not happen as fast as you want it it may not happen how you want it but our job is to wait on the Lord and let Him renew our strength. Let Him give us a fresh perspective. So I want to encourage you in that today to wait on Him. Put your trust in Him. He's going to work it out. This is the Bible. Every word of every page whispers the name Jesus. Jesus.